you're still sticking with it as one of your top plays for the year. It's one of my top plays for the next decade. I think we have to stop using the term um, work from home when it comes to companies like CrowdStrike. Cybersecurity is, like, in my, in my view, one of the biggest priorities for Fortune 500 companies and then small businesses. Everyone is digitizing. Everyone is moving more of their people away from the main office for good. It's, it's not going to go back to the way it used to be. Endpoint security on all these devices is critical. And having a network that detects threats and reacts in real time, having mitigation of the sort that is necessary when you see something like what went on with solar winds, guess who they called? They called CrowdStrike, okay? So this is a secular trend masquerading as a work from home trend. Throw the work from home thing out. This company is a category killer, eating share, total addressable market is massive. The threat has never been bigger. Russia, China, homegrown, hacking, it's, it's like the way to play it. So I'm all in on CrowdStrike personally. I really think this is going to be a name that works not only in 2021, 20, but throughout the uh, 2020s decade. I mean, I guess the only thing I would say about Live Nation is you don't think that a, a lot of the move in, in all of the kinds of names that you mentioned is already in the stocks which have anticipated all of the good news and the pent-up demand that you said? No. Why not? I mean, a lot of them have, have, been, have had big uh, moves, right? Go, go, go back and look what they spent this year doing, slashing, like, billions and billions out of their cost structures because they were forced to, um, and simultaneously raising dirt-cheap financing, either in the form of equity, in the case of Live Nation, uh, or in the form of debt, in the case of uh, some of the airlines, some of the, they, they have put themselves in a position where once they're back to normalized operations, which again, I don't think happens until the second half of this year, you start to really get that sense that they can get there. But once they're there, they're going to have much leaner um, cost situations and much better financial position, much better balance, balance sheet strength. So it's actually something that they were forced into doing. The environment provided the opportunity for them to have done that. And now they emerge as even stronger companies, even more digital, with even lower costs. So I don't think that most of the potential upside is in all of these stocks. No, not at all. Okay. Um, I'm glad you, you, you gave us that.